Dr. Tony Jones. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting along great. Uh, listen, is there any chance that you could put my daughter on the phone? I want to hear her beautiful voice. Really? No, no, don't wake her up. No, it's okay, because I'm going to see her anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet she looks pretty, doesn't she? Oh, I'm great. I didn't take the credit today. Oh, I've got a minute. Uh, I'll see you later. I really have 10 minutes between classes. Well, I tried to find you this morning before your first class. I overslept. Hey, I'm sorry about the other night. I know you didn't feel real great. No, but I saw Monica this morning and I apologized to her. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. And I want to apologize to you, too. Forget it. How about going to a movie with me tonight? There's a bunch of good ones playing right now. I can't. Thanks. I have, I have too much homework. Didn't know you had homework. Well, I have to brush up on some things. What? Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I got a funny feeling you're not being straight with me. Right? Am I right? Ned. What? It's not personal. What is it? I don't think that we should see each other anymore. Come on, Dawn, what have I done? No, you haven't done anything. <laughs> you don't like me. That's okay, other people have told me they don't like me. Hey, I can take it. Oh, my parents don't even like me very much. So go ahead, I'm tough. I can take it. Go ahead and tell me. It doesn't have anything to do with you. It don't, it... Go on. It just won't work. Excuse me, I have to go to class. Dawn. So when I leave here, I'm going to go over to, oh, sorry, I'm going to go over to the Lavery, yes. and I'm going to see her. Oh, I miss BJ so much. That house is too quiet. Oh, oh. I bet it is. It is. Oh. Lucy. Hi. Hey, I'm Charlene. You want to sit down and have a cup of tea? Um, yeah, I guess so. you want something else with your tea? No, thank you. That'll be quite enough. Well, have you been over to the laborage yet? Uh, no. No, but I'm going from here. Oh, I guess it'll be time for Robin to get off school. You should see those two kids play together. It is so cute. What in the world is wrong with you? Oh, I'm just mad. Oh, and I'm kind of depressed. Why? Because I went over to the hospital very nicely. I took Tony some chicken soup, and they wouldn't even let me see him. My goodness, is there something wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. It's just Bobby. She said, let me see, what did she say? She said that he didn't need any visitors. He didn't need to get overtired. And I, you know what, Aunt Charlene? I think it's just her. She's up to her old tricks as usual. And Tom Hardy was right there backing her all the way. It doesn't surprise me, though. You know, they all hate me over there. They really do. I've got an idea. Why don't you come over to the Lavery's with me? Do you really mean that? Yeah, I do. Oh, Aunt Charlene, that's nice. You really are. Thank you. Well, that'll be time when you get it. Yeah. Hi, come in. Hi. Anna's almost ready. Oh, good. Listen, do me a favor. Keep an eye on her. Don't let her do anything rash. I'll do my best, Duke. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, good. Listen, Chief Lewis has alerted backups and assigned radio channels to us, so everything's set. He knows to stay away while we're at the cabin, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. Well, we're off then. Good luck. Mm, Be you. careful, please. Yes. I'm BJ. Come in, it's cold. Come in. Uh, I gotta get rid of my coat. How can we go at the club? Um, I thought I'd take a couple of hours here at home. I'm gonna go in later. Oh, 
Any work? No, I'm not going off with Sam to some mountain cabin that Hillary used to go to, but it's a long shot. What are we going to do about rabbit? I don't know. We can do stove for time. I think that's what we can do. So where's Mom and PJ? There's been a mix-up. What do you mean? Well, uh, Hillary made a mistake and she thought she had permission to take BJ to the zoo. <laughs> well, she wouldn't do a thing like that. She wouldn't? No, it's too cold out. Only the polar bears have fun these days. Anyways, Hillary's too smart to do that. The zoo. Uh, excuse me, I'll tell you who that is. She couldn't have taken BJ. Oh, 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 maybe I'm in. I know what you can call her in. Thank you. Ah, uh, nice to see you, Charlene. Hi there. Hi, Robin. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, we come by to see if we can play with BJ. Well, Mommy and BJ aren't here right now. Uncle Duke. What? You don't have to worry anymore. BJ's got to be with Mommy. Worry? Uh, why don't you go to the kitchen? Uh, all in. Oh, yeah. Milk and lots of cookies. Go come on, kiddo. Okay, that's a good right for you. Come on. Um, Duke, what did Robin mean? Don't worry. I'm going to tell you something. It's very important that we keep it from Tony for as long as possible. Okay, thank you very much. Look, some of your tests are excellent, Tony, but we still don't have the results to all of them yet. Yeah, but the important ones are in. How do you know that? Uh, well, it doesn't matter, actually. You know, the important thing is, is that you okay my daughter to visit again. Tony, I told you. Look, I know how I feel. I have made a vast improvement since my daughter came to visit me. I'm in full command of my reasoning. My medical objectivity is just fine, and there is no good reason for you to deny me a visit with my daughter. Tony, if you were in full command of your medical objectivity, you would not allow a patient who has just been through a serious brain procedure whose eyesight hangs in the balance to be exposed to emotional stress. That's not going to happen. How do you know that's not going to happen, Tony? Suppose your daughter suddenly realizes that you're blind. Suppose she becomes frightened of it, Tony. Learn not to second guess your doctor. Look, I'm going to go off. I'll see you later. Harris. Yes. You're being pretty tough on me. Still here, Bobby. Yeah. Well, I want the truth, and I want it now. What the hell is going on? to work now that the police have given a top we've line. got to remain calm about this no Lily's not going to harm bj we know that how can you be so sure because we really feel like she only just wanted to take the child to the place the one she lost emily oh you you mean that child in the automobile accident yes exactly i think hillary just wanted to have a child with her really just any oh, child wait a minute you're telling bj is with a mad woman and you want me to stay calm and not get upset no, over i'm sure that the police are doing everything in their power that they can aren't they yes chief lewis is cooperating fully well, what about tony does he know about this well they feel it's better that tony doesn't know they who the hell are they well the, the people are taking care of him at the hospital the doctors his therapist and bobby meyer of course. well i think they're right too can you imagine what would happen to tony if he knew about this yes i can imagine aunt charlene this probably would just kill him well i think that's that's why it's so important that he doesn't find out. Although I don't know how long we can keep it from him. He keeps asking to see BJ, and quite frankly, well, we're all running out of excuses. <laughs>